Go ahead. This is Wes S. Uh, an mm -hmm. often overlooked piece of equipment on the homestead is card table. I can spend all day building the table. Or I can make the table. Now then, it's very important if you've got a homestead that you patrol it and keep it safe from predators, trespassers, and stuff like that. That's what we're going to do now. I'm not taking y'all with me because I don't want to deal with the camera. Hours later. Well, I didn't find anything much. Cannot stress enough how important it is to make sure that when you're on patrol, you've got the right equipment. Do what it is you want done. Yeah. You get one of these though. That's a rodent. And now we're gonna pick it. Here's the other side of it. You could bushcraft you a rock oven, or you just go online and you can buy one of these. This is Texas. Oh God, we have plenty of sun. We'll just use the sun oven to cook our rat. There's a little bit more to it than just opening the door and chunking it in there. So stick around. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Rob, Rob murdered this. It was out there minding its own business. It's just like all looking around, watching out for owls and hawks and stuff, and then somebody. Popped the forehead with 22 bullets. Uh, that wasn't me, because I'm not. I'm a non-violent person. I get all my meat from the grocery store. Never killed a thing in my life. Uh, but if you, this is the cook part of the catching cook for Rob's curry dog. Yeah. He kept the outside of it so he could pet it. A little awkward. Right. This is a sun oven. I forget who makes it. We've had it for four years. If you have sun, and it doesn't even have to be full sun, you can use this on a cloudy day. Well, partly cloudy day. Uh, today is partly cloudy. I guarantee you this thing will do just fine cooking this deal. This is uh, it's a real simple setup. It's got a glass door, and you put your food in it in a pan or whatever. You can. I've made biscuits in this. I've made roast. I've cooked whole chickens. Uh, there's nothing terribly complicated about it. You know, after you get it set, all your food in there, whatever. You do need to remember to close it and latch it. And then once you get this zeroed using these little windows, which we'll, I'll try to explain to you. I'm just in the how-to video. But anyway, then uh, you can leave it alone for an hour. People say, oh, you got to move it every 30 minutes. No, you don't. Oh, good gosh, that's right. So anyway, we're going to cook. It's really, it's a prairie dog which is actually considered to be vermin by some, actually most, and that's as high tech as that gets. We're gonna put it in the pan. Uh, we'll get it started cooking, and then after a little bit, we'll put some, uh, probably just some Mrs. Dash on there. Now all we have to do is get the oven hot. The up or down, you know how what the angle it is is adjusted back here and you're just going to have to figure it out as you go what you need but 
that part, for example. No more. Um, should have wiped that off, but anyway, there's these little holes, and now I've got the height. See, there's a well, I'm in the shade, I'm causing the shadow. There you go. There's a little dot of light. You want that over that hole, same over here. I don't be able to see it. There is a little dot of light, and uh, I am going to assume that I went too high. I'm going to have to go down a bump, and then we'll readjust it. And then you set your the shadow to where the edge of your light hole, your little light circle, is just on the outside edge of that hole. And then as the sun goes around, you don't have to readjust it until it gets to the, edge, the other side of the hole. Buys you some time. If you buy these things, the complete kit, it comes with a whole bunch of different pans, all the racks. It's got dehydrating racks, everything. But just like any other oven, you put the stuff in it. Close and latch the door, and then you wait. Just us fiddling around without the door closed, this thing is already up to 160 degrees. I bet we can watch the needle climb. Well, if the sun comes back out. Yeah, it's already come up a degree. Like I say, you don't have to have the sun for full sun for the sun oven to work you just need solar radiation and today the uh, UV index was uh, a 10 even with the clouds so we'll see we're cooking with it today I don't know if you can tell that but the sun's actually we're we're partly cloudy and it'll still cook it's uh 100 and 60 something and we just I mean we literally just closed the door so yeah now we just got to go somewhere and wait it has been less than 10 minutes and it is at 240 plus they work and it's been about 25 minutes Hope y'all can see that. It's already graying up and cooking, sweating a little bit. And it is flipping hot in there. It is 275 degrees. And again, it's cloudy. All right, what we got here is some bacon, some Mrs. Dash, and some Lowry's. If you're from Texas, you know what Lowry's is. If not, my apologies. We're going to go ahead and season the little critter now. Because he started cooking. He's only been in here 30 minutes. He's already cooking like crazy. The trick. I didn't grab anything to grab hold of that lid with. Ooh, that's going to be hot. Yeah, that's not happening. Be right back. Smell bad, does it? Let me reach around. Very complicated procedure. <clears throat> Use sparingly. We noticed he was getting a little cold. Get my blanket. And the 
Here we go. Ta-da, that's it. Alright, this is like a continuation of the video. The edible cactus, you know, thing. I'm going to tie it into the... Uh, the prairie dog video. But our vegetable to go with that prairie dog is going to be cactus. Let's see. I can zoom in on those. See those? So the three right there together are dark purple and the ones either side of it aren't. Get the dark purple ones. Don't get the ones that aren't yet. Alrighty then. This is cactus pads and cactus fruit. There's another video about the the owl. The, the cactus fruit will have to go outside and we'll have to burn the glockets off of them. Of the tuna, that's our dessert. We're not in any rush for that. This is our. Uh, this is this is what we're gonna eat right here. Notice I've got a glove on. I should probably have two of them. I've already pulled stickers out. We are inside in the air conditioning because it's 100 degrees outside with a UV index of over 10. And uh, we're real men. We know where the air conditioning is for. There's plenty of cactus out there, so do not be ashamed just to cut off the outside of the cactus that has all the stickers in it, on it, around it, near it, about it. Better off wasting some cactus than missing blockets. The end. Oh, my thumb. Anyway, after you get all the stickers out, then you cut it into little ribbons. And there you go. Vegetable of the day. Now I've got to do that two more times. This is the one that I showed y'all was probably a little too old. It's still at, I mean, you, we can still eat it. It's just, it's going to be a lot woodier. I don't know if the sound will pick it up. When you cut it or not. And hear the crispy sound it's making. That's those extra fibers. The older the cactus is, the woodier it's going to be. Doesn't nothing else about it changes, just the palatability of it. You know what's it going to taste like. Welcome to the Wes S's Bushcrafted Kitchen. I built this whole thing with a pocket knife. And two sticks and uh, I made this out of used tin cans All right. it's just, this is my wife's kitchen so we're not going to make a big mess um, that's two tablespoons of butter and you put it in the skillet <laughs> and then you have to melt the butter and then we're going to put the, the cactus in there. The, uh, the prairie dog is doing nicely. All by its little skull. We just checked it. Temperature's at uh, 275 and uh, yeah, it's, it's ready. 
been what hour and a half ish out there? Yeah. Hour and a half, hour forty five. Yeah. We're gonna melt this butter and we're gonna uh cook the cactus. I'll have to bring you back for that. Unless y'all y'all want me to leave that, y'all just wanna watch the butter melt. We watch butter. We've talked about current affairs. What do we what do we currently have going on? Let's see. Um it's the end of the world as we know it because well yeah what it just is. If you have not taken the time as a human being to learn a few skills like I don't know how to cook without uh, electricity, which just happens to be what we're using right here. I suggest that you spend a little time learning how to cook without electricity. In this video we have seen, or you will have seen modern cooking. You will see alternative cooking, uh, the sun oven. You will have seen uh, yet one more option. We're going to use a alcohol burner to get the glockets off our dessert. So. Just because I want it, we're going to add a little something, something to this. This is actually our lunch, so y'all bear with us. It's uh, dig them near two o'clock. We ain't even had breakfast yet. Turn it down a little bit. And the super secret ingredient. Just what that is. Yep, y'all got it. That's bacon grease. That's for all you vegans out there. Morton's kosher, Morton's kosher salt, used sparingly. Kosher salt is more salty than other salt. Crushed black pepper, coarsely ground black pepper.
shows over folks. Boom. Doesn't take long to cook this. Well, maybe five, six minutes after you put the lid on it. Take the lid off, stir it up again, put the lid back on it, and let it set for another five or six minutes and check it. And voila! That's, that's it, they're done. Now we go get the other stuff off the fire and eat. See you outside. Really hard to see in there, but uh, it's been an hour and 45 minutes ish. And you can smell it from out here. So we're going to uncover and get ready. That's hot. Just like putting your hands in the oven. There's our catfish. And there is our prairie dog. Welcome to lunch. This is the cameraman aide. Adrian. A-D-A-D-O. He's over for a visit. He just popped over. Uh, no, put your plate closer. Just don't get off the string. That's, we'll start with that. These are like German circus game pieces. Try. Watch your face so bad. Oh, look at you. Good grief. That's for the chickens. Find the vulnerability in his armor. Put all his bacon on here in the way. Trying to be nice here. Never half a rabbit or something with somebody does that. They're trying they're trying to get you to take their fun out. Next time we'll cut it up first. You're going to have to grab your feet, your food, man. Don't freak out. It's okay. There you go. Back strap. Okay. Back strap and hind leg. Back strap and hind leg. Okay. Folks. Folks, you do. Heavenly Father, most gracious and our God, thank you for this day and for your many blessings. Thank you for the fellowship of a brother in Christ. Thank you for the guy who provided the meat for this food thank you for the plants you caused to grow for the rest of it help us not get food poisoning in Jesus name Amen. Amen. what do you think of the I'll try it again then try it again I'll try it I'll tell you if it's good mm, that's the best stuff ever 
told you it was going to be woozy. The cactus pads were a little old. Should have harvested them a couple weeks ago. Let's see, Let's see if I like prairie dog. That's nice. Prairie cow. Oh, that, that's good. Mm, that is good. Like, um, Damn. It? Mm. it tastes like lamb. Maybe that's because it was shot in Lamb County. What? You want to try some honey? Doesn't taste a thing like deer. That's the best of my prickly pie. No, I see that's a little weird. It tastes good though, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The flavor is really, really good. Well, I wouldn't know the difference between a, a young a young pad and an old pad anyway. Oh, the, the old pad and that first one I got was probably that one I was telling you was going to be really woody. That second bite wasn't that bad. But it's got like a... I don't know how to explain it. It, it, tastes, it tastes like a really mild lemon or a lime. If you don't want to eat the woody part, you just chew all the other stuff off and spit it out. I don't know if y'all saw me do that or not. Anyway, yeah, and we cheated, we put bacon on it, we're not barbarians. Good. I'll bring a box of ammo, I'll be there soon, bro. We got a bunch of these, we put these in the freezer. Definitely worth putting in the freezer. Seriously, it tastes like lamb. Go figure. I mean, they're grass fed. More gamey, but yeah. A little gamey, yeah. But not bad at all. It's not as gamey as deer. Just a tiny, tiny bit. If you cook it nice and slow in the sun oven, uh, it comes out nice and tender. <laughs> it only took two hours. We didn't have to stand on it either. Pretty much we did the other stuff. Oh, you only turned it, what, twice? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I actually only reset it once. Right. If it hadn't been ready, I was fixing to reset it. Well, son of us definitely was. Yep. Wondering what to do with bacon. Yep. And I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they want this and that and all these fancy seasonings. Mrs. Dash and a little salt and pepper will do anything you want done. I'm sorry. And I'm not, they don't pay me, I'm just, I'm telling you, buy that stuff, put it in the cupboard. I mean, it will make a rat palatable at the end. Slimy, huh? The cactus. Still good though, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like okra when you do it. See, this is the
the young not pad. Not the FBI either. Anyway, this is the young pad. It's got little bitty lines in it. This is that big one. I think woody pieces in it. They're still... These actually have carbs and proteins and everything in them. Cactus is actually... People call cactus a famine food. Oh, then they just use it, eat it in times of difficulty. No. This was food, food. And you can do so many things. You can pull an egg in this. Just take the pad and cut it open with a knife, stick it in there. Put your eggs in there. You close it back and paint it shut. You put it in the fire and then cover it up with a rock or whatever and then put the coals around it. And the moisture from the cactus will keep the egg uh, moist while it's cooking it. This is a boiled egg. Multi-purpose. Thanks for the rat, Rob. Uh, yeah, thank you. You people still have. Don't die. Should I people take care?